Oh my goodness. How about you just go in back away and get off my blade, you funky looking zombie. And also, I think I found out where they're hiding the cats and dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, today welcome to just a normal day in Springfield, Ohio. Like you guys can tell, I have this beautiful, amazing, fantabulous flashlight to help me see in the darkness that we have here. But uh, let me tell you, that doesn't change the fact of how freaking creepy this goddamn game is. Because every single time I hop into The Walking Dead, I just, I don't even know how to really explain the feeling. It's spooky, it's scary, and I just, I wanna go home, man. I just, I wanna go home. All right, Ohio was great and all. I love visiting, but oh my lordy, it is the morning, the birds are out, and luckily, the zombies are clear. We can actually see with our eyes now. We don't have to use a flashlight, but it is way too early for me to be out. It's even a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Got a little bit of a breeze going on here. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I wanted to make a little video based on this because I feel like it'd be a really great opportunity to go and do a Springfield, Ohio video. <laughs> I mean, take it as you will. Um, I, I figured it'd just be kind of a funny concept to go and throw together. But, ladies and gentlemen, every time that I hop into The Walking Dead, it is a freaking blast. And I kind of want to have a bit of a yap session as we go and survive throughout the day here in Springfield, Ohio. Because there's a lot of stuff I gotta unpack. And I'm sure for some of you OGs out there that have been waiting for a little bit of a Walking Dead series, you're gonna be pretty excited with the news that I have for this video. So, without further ado, let's go and hop onto this little clipboard and see what we necessarily have for some like little visits that we can go and check out. So we got the Bastion, Memorial Lane, but Via Corolla has got some medical caches. I mean, this little town in Springfield, Ohio, man. I mean, this is this is quite the place. Or we could go to the shallows. But honestly, man, I think I'm really vibing with Via Corolla. Oh my god, I completely forgot that I was supposed to go and eat my num nums at the beginning of this day. So I wouldn't uh, you know, unfortunately go and burn through all my stuff. But uh luckily we got some Poseidon tuna, so we'll go and chuck that in the backpack. I mean, as you guys know, as a fellow Ohioan, Ohio! We now have the greatest food of all time, okay? The greatest that you've ever seen. And apparently there's a zombie right over here, all right? You are illegal. You must die, okay? Thank you. Later, zombie. Ooh, wait a minute. We got some friends. I wonder if they know what's going on here. You know what? Maybe we could ask some questions. Hello, friends. Hello, over here. Bang. They did not respond at all. Maybe if I just, like, raise my voice a little bit, they might... Decide to, you know, respond. Hello, friends! I would like to speak to you. Oh, oh my god, why are you pulling the guns? Um, this is very awkward. Um, I just wanted to speak to you, but instead, now you guys are shooting at me. Hello? Hey, you started it. All right, you pointed your guns at me. I don't know what you were thinking. That was just plainly idiotic. You know what? You started this, okay? It really did not have to end this way. I'm not gonna lie, big man. But, uh, looks like you're gonna be staying in Springfield. For the rest of your life. I would be taking this. Thank you for the free pistol, by the way. That is absolutely amazing. And, uh, we gotta make sure that you guys don't turn. Okay? So, um, I think a really great opportunity that we could do here is maybe just go and grab this little bowski. And, uh, make sure that there is no witnesses. Goodbye! Oh my god! The body is completely annihilated. Okay, and you, friend, oh my goodness. You just wanted to come and say hi, didn't you? Well, uh, you have a little bit of a, you know, a little face mask, so we're gonna have to go and take advantage of this. Give me a moment here. Oh! Oh my god. I forget how good this game truly feels. And it impresses me every time. Like, the fact that this VR game released so many years ago, and it still feels like probably one of the greatest physics-based 
VR games out there is just absolutely incredible. Let's go and get some lighting on you, okay? How about you go and say goodbye? Please have a little bit of a shotgun for you. For your face. Say hello. So not my friend! Oh my god! What was I doing? And what was I thinking? Can I get a clap? Oh, come on. Oh. Back away, sonny boy. All right, I'm done with this shite. How about you go and eat this little knife key poo? <laughs> I freaking love it, man. Would you mind moving just for a moment? I would like to go and grab my knife. You gonna show your face here? After all you've done? Oh yeah. Yes, I am. Later, boys. Looks like we had a few more survivors waiting to go and get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> I'll be taking these. Get inside my little backpack. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to go one by one and make sure that we actually got all of you guys in the head. Because, oh my lordy, would this be a little bit of an oopsie whoopsie on my end if I left any survivors to remember what the heck happened today? You are dead to me. Okay. And then we'll go and grab some more arrows. And we should be basically ready to rock and roll skis. I'm going to go and put my knife on my other side, though. I just feel like it's a lot more comfortable that way. And you, sir, can eat this revolver. Oh. That is uh, very awkward. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I cannot jab you with this. How about we just go and load you to the absolute max. And drop your foo. Get out of my town, all right? I'm the new mayor in town, all right? I'm, this is a dictatorship, okay? I got my 45 revolver, and I'm ready to go and bring these boys to the pound town, all right? Just saying, this is my town. I claimed it. All those other Ohioans are gone now. We don't have to worry about those two squads that try to roll up on us. Ain't no worry in my minds. But ladies and gentlemen, let me just say, this game all in all is just seriously incredible. Still to this day, out of all the VR games, I want to say The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is by far one of my favorites to date. It just feels good, it looks good, and also, it gives you the little tinglies, if you know what I'm saying. Alright? Like, when you go and play this game, you... You better be ready to be scared the absolute crap out of when you're playing this. For instance, in this mode that I'm playing, these zombies can actually hear me, okay? So uh, if I go and just walk over here, there are likely a lot of our friends just waiting on the other side of this door. So we just go and maybe knock. I mean, we could maybe see if there's any survivors or residents. Hello? Knock, knock. I would like to uh, see if there's any survivors over here. Just want to check in. Hello? Is there anyone over here? It sounds like there's something in there. Hello? Oh my god! We got a few more residents of the Ohio winds. And this is no joke. Okay, you need to back away for a moment. Let me go ahead and grab my freaking bow and get you guys the heck out of here. Stay back. Okay, I do not need to die to these freaking explosives this early on. It has been a minute, and I am definitely... A little bit rusté when it comes down to the zombie slaying and the zombie killing here. But you, I have a perfect thing for you. A little knife to go right down the throat. Ah, oh, beautiful. And also, we have another friend over here. Hello! Nice to see you. Welcome to Ohio! That guy was definitely illegal. And you need to go. Later, boy. I am missing every shot. Or actually, maybe it's because he had a face guard on. That probably explains a lot. Oh my goodness, dude. These guys are no joke. Maybe I'll just go and use the actual blade. This might help a little bit. But God, they just, they don't stop coming. Oh, dude. And I'm going to run out of stamina this way, too. Especially going melees only. You need to stay quiet, okay? There's a lot of stuff I needed to go and discover here in Ohio. It's been a minute. And look at this! What is all this stuff doing in Springfield, huh? We got a bunch of bells? We definitely gotta go start an investigation, because this is a little bit a little bit weird. And they've been littering! Oh god man. What were these guys thinking? Absolutely awful. Just look at what's happened, man. 
first the cats and dogs, then they just have boxes of matches laying everywhere and Elky Halls. What the heck were they thinking? I, I'm flabbergasted. That's a cool word. I'm flabbergasted right now, okay? And then, not to mention, what the heck balls is this, bro? Who is hanging this decoration inside of their hut? Oh, oh, look at you, you fancy little man. Do you, do you want to party with an arrow to your nagi? Thank you. The real question is though, can I find myself some really good goodies inside of this home? Looks like we got some glue. Ooh, nummies. We'll eat some glue. I want to find some really good goods, though, all right? There's something that I have been missing for a very long time. And on this trip, my tummy has been rumbling, okay? I traveled so long today for one very, very specific thing. And it is... The Mr. Beast Feastables Chocolate Bar. I'm completely joking. That's actually not what I was looking for, but I will take you. Um, maybe I'll just... Why not? Okay. We'll go and eat that little chocolate bar. There is something very, very special that I would love to go and find. And they are definitely a commodity over in the Ohio's, shall I say. Okay. There is something that we like to call some good old ramen. And if we can find those goodies, I will consider today a complete, complete trip, okay? It looks like everything's pretty much empty over here, though. What is you? You is a sardines. I will eat you, too. Why not? I'm a little hungry. And you are also a little hungry. Have you been eating the cats? I don't think so. Have you been eating the cats? Oh, oh my god, um, okay, so there's this beautiful thing called dying, okay, shh, I know I saw some people doing some barbecuing, I don't know if it was y'all's, but someone was doing it, okay, I can maybe overlook the fact that the cats and dogs, if you can lead me in the right direction of finding some, ooh, wait a minute, huh? A freaking fire axe? Uh, yeah, baby. I will take that gladly. It's actually really cool. Why was there just a fire axe just laying around in here? I am definitely going to take it. But what was it just doing sitting on the floor, man? Oh, my God. Okay, just make sure there isn't anything spawning behind me. Because, dude, this could get a little bit freaky. And there are a ton of them over here. What? Die! Go! Okay, I cannot swing this axe to save my life. Let's get a little bit of a different grip on this thing. There we go! And these guys are not very friendly. Talk about an Ohio welcome over here. What is this? Come on! Die for me! Okay, you are just going to be an absolute pain in the butt. Is there any way I can just... Get off of me! Okay, wait, did I just... I just stuck that in the wall. I was sick. Okay, you need to die, friend. Okay, let's just go and put this right through the head. Thank you. We are definitely feeling a lot more rusty on here. But ugh, I do not have the strength that I once did, my man. You need to back away for a moment, okay? Let me go and grab this axe out of the wall. Ugh, and you are not going to be a very nice addition to this home. You are not welcome. <sighs> Why are these Ohio people just so freaking rude? All I wanted to do was find some directions, explore the town, see what the heck's been going on, because for some reason I've been hearing news about people like locals eating cats over here and dogs. Don't, can't forget the dogs. So there's been some Ohio biz whiz going on and I, what the freak? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Okay, this is very, very bad. I don't want to talk about this. Um, back away, you stupid zombies. I will send you right back to your homeland. To the ground. Okay, I don't know how much more time I have left in this place, to be completely real. We have been, uh, we have been stuck in this home for God knows how long now. And I would like to just leave, if possible. Is there any way that I could just maybe get out of this home and just... You know, don't want maybe loot some other areas? Because I would like to find me some ramen. 
but this is no joke. Is there a way I can try to keep this a little bit more silent and just work my way through this? Nice! Okay. You guys are no joke! Oh my goodness, and you are a stinky boy. Yeah, you stay away. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I do not want to touch you. How about you just stay away? Some of you guys are really freaky, man. Yeah, this just goes to show how long it's been since I played The Walking Dead, man. Because it feels even more terrifying than usual. And you guys are all stacked up. No! Okay, I need to leave that axe. There's no way I'm going to do anything with that. There we go. Let's go in and work our way through this. We are definitely getting a little bit too tired with our stamina here. But, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what has happened to beautiful, sweet home Springfield here. But this is not the Ohio that I remember. And there is just a local tied up on the freaking post up here. Okay. You know what? It's been great here. I'm not going to lie. I've had a fantastic time going and exploring. But I'm not going to lie. Um, I was not expecting it to be this populated today. And you're standing inside of the car. Um, I have a great idea for you. Okay, yeah, you just stay right there. Okay, yep. You stay right there. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, look at his body. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. Can I somehow fix you? I will, I will fix you, my man. Come with me. Oh my goodness. We got another stinker on us. Is there a way that I could somehow save you, zombie? Oh my god! Yeah, uh, that's... Oh, now he's just posing on the... <laughs> he's posing on the car. Nice. Okay, well, before we go, let's just go and stick this right inside of your head there. And that should be perfect, right? Can we just... We can't leave it on him? Oh, <laughs> but you can hit the zombies with it. Oh my god. Come back here. Would you like to die? Oh. Okay, this board method is actually really freaking cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> How about you enjoy this board? We still got one more hit. And a big old stinker. Oh my god. Ooh. I don't even want to talk about what just happened. That is some gunky, gunky, unky. And I, I don't like that. Okay, that's some nasty stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, as great as it has been- What the freak was that? Why was there a bottle that just exploded? But what I was trying to say before I was really interrupted by getting jump scared is the fact that it's been great coming here and starting the rectatorship. Okay, going and owning everything, basically killing all the survivors, and also just going through, you know, the ways of the undead. It's, it's been good. It's been a good time. But I'm not gonna lie, I think there is a overwhelming amount of these guys, and I would like to go back to my safe old home, back at Ayla Bus. So as great and awesome as the experience has been, I think this would be a great time for me to go and exit. Okay, thank you all for the great time that you have shown. It's been fantastic. I'm gonna go and make my way back. Where's my boat? Oh my god. Okay, this is getting a little bit too chaotic. No! Get me out of here! No! Please! Back away, you stupid zombie! Come on! Go! No! So yeah, anyways, that was uh, my trip over to Springfield, Ohio. Um, things were great. Um, I really enjoyed the time. Uh, the, the residents were so welcoming. Um, I really loved the part where they, they grabbed my arms and, you know, ripped my flesh and... You know, we're just absolute cannibals. It was it was fun. It was a, it was a really good time, and uh, I'm definitely never going back. That place was just absolutely... Wait, what is that? One second, let me turn this up. I feel like something's calling me back. Ladies and gentlemen, The Walking Dead 365 Day Survival Series is coming back this Friday. These monsters be